We are super excited for this new mobile app. It is a mobile app that is going to help you manage, create, and find Young Living events. So really what we wanted to do was create the best event management tool that we could create possibly uh, for your mobile phone since we're always on that 24-7 it seems like nowadays. So this app's goal really is just to make managing all your Young Living events a heck of a lot easier. Jeremy Aliff is now going to kind of run through the app and show you how it works on a day-to-day -day basis and how it can really impact your life, your business, and just help you be a better oiler. Hey there everyone, this is Jeremy Aliff. We're talking about the new Young Living mobile app called Oily Agenda. My wife Haley Aliff and I are crown diamonds with Young Living. We came up with this idea about a year ago with some friends and we wanted there to be a uh, kind of a central location, a one-stop shop app for Young Living members to be able to find, share, and create Young Living events. And that th that's what Oily Agenda allows you to do. So what we're going to do in this presentation, we're just going to go through the app and show you how it works and show you how it can be a tool for uh, you and your, your team members and really anyone who uses Young Living products. So once you download Oily Agenda onto your phone, once you click open the, uh, the app, you're going to be taken to the events tab this is going to be your home screen and what we're going to do in this presentation we're, just, we're going to go through each tab at the bottom there you see there are five tabs the events tab the groups tab the invites tab the users tab and the more tab we're going to go through each tab and show you how this app works so starting out on the events screen uh, the events tab like i said this is your home screen this is where you can search for any of the upcoming events in all the agenda now you can search for an event by city or state name. You can search for an event by category and you can search for an event by the event name. 